Hey everybody! Well today I thought we could take a look at an, another interesting little prop replica. Now this is what it looks like when you first get it shipped to you. Now this is a replica of the Holy Grail prop that was seen in Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade. And uh, this one is by a company called Xcoser, X-C-O-S-E-R. It's kind of got an interesting name. But uh, I got this from Amazon. This is the way it comes when it's shipped to you. I hope it looks good. I, I don't know. It doesn't have an official package, so I'm not really sure. Um, up until this point, the only other Holy Grail prop I had was this one. And this one's actually made of wood. And, uh, I mean, you can see here. And it was made, I think it was just a, a eBay find, if I can remember. I've had this for quite a long time, and it looks okay. I mean, it's nothing great. But if you want one of these grails, um, I mean, there there's a ton of these all over the place. They're on eBay, and there's uh, different companies making these. This one here was a fan-made one that was probably just turned on a lathe, I'm guessing. And here's the inside. It's actually It actually looks pretty good. I mean, it looks like they actually painted it relatively decent. But there's some that are made of uh, ceramic, wood, plastic, clay, all kinds of different stuff. But uh, this one here, I think, is made of resin. So let's open this package and see what it looks like. Okay, so I got the plastic off. It's actually just a Ziploc bag, so I'm a little concerned about this. I hope it's not cheap looking or painted really bad or just really cheesy. I haven't looked at it yet. I did cut the tape on the sides here, so let's take a look at it. I'm not even sure if it's right side up, so let's open this up. And... Ooh, well, it's looking pretty decent. Let me get this off of here. And let's take a look at this thing. It's bigger than the wood one that I have. Now this one feels like it's almost made of clay, but I think it's resin. Let's take a look at this. And let's see, take this plastic off here. Wow, it's looking pretty good actually. Okay. Oh, yeah, you know what? Actually, this looks pretty good. Yeah, actually, the paint job looks looks decent on it. It, it looks better than the wood one I got. It has more of a, a blend-in of colors between the gold, this maroon or clay-looking uh, reddish color, and then you got these other kind of colors mixed in between, kind of like a shade of whites and grays, uh, a little bit of black in there. Yeah, this looks, this looks actually pretty good. Here's the bottom. Let's see, the bottom has... Yeah, it's got felt on it, so that's nice. It's uh, got some weight to it, not, not really bad. It uh, does feel like resin. Yeah, it almost feels like clay, though. I mean, it looks like in the movie, it looks like the original prop is made of clay. This has that, that same kind of look. And I think the proportions are pretty good. Um, yeah, because I actually think on the wood one, the bowl part of the cup right here is a little too small. And, and you know, they had more than one prop, of course, for the movie. There's probably a stunt version, the one that gets thrown around. There's probably the hero version where uh, Henry Sr. drinks out of it, you know, or, or where they're going to have close-ups of it where it's on that shelf with all the other grails. But, uh, yeah, this looks pretty good. Okay, let me get a little bit closer view so we can get a closer look at it. Okay, so let's get a closer look at this now. So, um, I think they did a really good job on this. I'm sure these are hand-painted by the company, but the gold looks really good. I like this kind of mix of this gray-white kind of thing going on here. You can see the texturing on the uh, resin. It makes it look like it's made of clay or some kind of rough material, like the original prop had. There's some more of that off-color right there. Now, you notice it looks like there's some pink mixed in here. I think you can really see it right here. And I think the original prop does have a little bit of pink in there. Here's the stem. I don't know if this is gold leaf. I don't, I don't think it is. I don't think it is. It would be more expensive. But it looks like there's a little bit of pink right there also, which I think actually kind of goes with this really nicely. There's the bottom. And in here, this looks really good. So you'll notice there's some crazing in there and some cracking. That's exactly how the original prop looks. And it really gives it that aged look, like the uh, Grail would have. And I think the original prop does have that look to it. So it looks really good. You know, I don't know if that's gold leaf or not. I don't think it is, but it almost kind of looks like it with that cracking. Because I think you get that effect in there. I don't know. not really sure how they did this. It looks really good, though. 
Yeah, I'm actually impressed with this. I, I honestly wasn't sure. There are so many different uh, grail props out there of varying quality. And if you go on Amazon, there's a two, I don't know, two or three different people that make this prop. And uh, a lot of people have shown pictures of what they got and it looked nothing like this. It looked really bad. This looks like what the picture shows. But yeah, I think it looks, I think it looks really good. Mm -hmm, yeah, that looks great. Yep, I like it. Better than I thought, thank goodness. Now, I don't know if this holds water or liquid, but I don't think I would try it. I don't think I'd put any kind of water in here. I think this is strictly a display piece. Um, you know, you wouldn't want to ruin that gold in there. And if you tried to wash it, it's possible you'll snag these little cracks in here and chip off that nice gold finish in there. And we don't know what kind of paint was used on this. I mean, I doubt it's got lead in it, but you never know, because I'm not even sure where these are made. But yeah, I, I would say don't drink in the, out of this thing, no matter how much eternal life you want. <laughs> now, just for reference, this book here is called From Star Wars to Indiana Jones, The Best of the Lucasfilm Archives. And this is a really cool book. I think I bought this back in 1993 or somewhere around that time. And you can buy these books really cheap on eBay, so they're not expensive. But it has tons of pictures of original props from um, Star Wars and Indiana Jones. Uh, there's uh, original costumes. There's props, matte paintings. Look at these models. The models are beautiful. Unfortunately, a lost art due to CGI stuff. Um, let's see what else we got here. Oh, yeah, look at that. That's beautiful beauty shots of the Millennium Falcon. God, the incredible detail that those model builders put into that is just insane. Yeah, storyboards, miniatures. Very, very cool stuff that they have here. And it's a really cool book. It's got tons of pictures in it. Great references. Um, I actually have one of these props. I'll do a video on that. Have a replica of it. Had that for years and years. Uh, let me see here, some more storyboarding. Now here's where they get into Indiana Jones, and they talk about all the different ones. There's that antidote vial. Uh, let's see, now somewhere in here is a picture of the original Grail. Oh man, I gotta get one of these. The uh, Grail Diary. I want a replica of that so bad, but man, if you want a good quality one, ah, they're expensive, like 250 bucks. But I really would like to get one. It's got all the... Uh, reference material in here. I bet a lot of people use this book to make copies of the pages right there. Oh, there's the special effects model where uh, Balok, is that his name? Oh, I can't remember the name of that guy. He melted away when he drank out of the, when he chose poorly. <laughs> All right, so where is that grail? I think it's back here somewhere. Oh, there it is. So there is the original grail prop. And you can see all the, uh, let me get the glare off there. You can see how nicely that was done. And this is probably the hero prop, I'm guessing. Um, if it was the stunt, I think it would have some damage done to it. This looks pretty good. But probably just a hand-painted piece. I'm not sure what they made it out of. Probably the hero might be clay while the stunt was made of plastic or something. But yeah, it looks really good. So yeah, I think they did a pretty good job on that other replica one that I have. So here's a comparison to the original one here, the wood one. And this is the new one here, the x Coser brand. But you can see they're, uh, they're relatively the same, except, of course, this one's bigger. But, yeah, uh, you know, I mean, whoever makes these is not going to get it exactly right. Because the, the pattern on the original prop was just such a bizarre, uh, you know, hand-done thing. You're not going to be able to get it exactly correct. But uh, also there was probably more than one. And uh, the hero one, I'm guessing, is the the one that most people are basing theirs on. This one here, um, they did try to, uh, in the book that I just showed you, there is a piece right here, or a, a gold section right here, and it does have this little tail coming down, and then it goes into another blotch of gold. So whoever did this must have used that reference picture to paint this, because it does look very close. But, you know, I do like this one still, even though it's wood, but I still think it looks good. But I think this one here now is my new favorite, because this thing <laughs> is uh, very, very nice. It's a very nice piece. Yeah, I think it's probably one of the better ones I've seen. Uh, so like I said, you know, if you go on Amazon, be careful of, of what you buy. Um, I think this was 30, it wasn't that expensive. I think it was like $36 or something like that. Uh, I'll have to go back and look. It was like 36, 38. 
Um, some of them on eBay are ridiculously overpriced. I've seen some people selling them for $90 and more. And I, I had another one that was clay, but it just didn't look right. The whole bowl part of the cup was way too big and it just looked out of proportion. It was made of a clay material, which looked nice, but uh, it just didn't look right in the proportions. But uh, yeah, be wary of what you buy. Uh, read the um, comments that people leave on the Amazon website, you know, what the uh, ratings and see what people say, because a lot of them provide pictures too. And they'll say, you know, uh, the, this doesn't look anything like the picture shows. And, and uh, that is a problem. You have to be careful. And I don't know which brand that was. I think it started with a B. Uh, I think that might have been one of the ones where the picture doesn't match the actual product. This one here, though, matches pretty good. I think it looks exactly like what they show in the picture for Amazon. But you can always return it, too, if you don't like it. So that's good. But anyway, okay, so that's it. That is the X Coser Indiana Jones and the Last Crusade uh, Grail prop. And I think it looks really good, and I'm actually very pleased with this. I'm glad I don't have to return it. I was kind of worried there for a minute. <laughs> All right, well, I hope you've enjoyed this review. And if you did, don't forget to hit the like button. And also, please subscribe. I'd really appreciate that, because it seems like uh, the vast majority of people who watch my videos aren't subscribed. So uh, please subscribe if you'd like, and if you like this kind of stuff. All right. Well, thank you so much for watching. I appreciate it. I'll see you on the next episode and have a good one.